this section then we're going to be looking at um, decay and recycling um, because really the only reason that um, life can support itself is because um, when uh, a living organism dies um, the waste material, the dead material needs to be broken down and we have um, lots of microbes and other things called detritivores which do this for us and without them we would not have this whole cycle of life um, which is what makes us um, well this planet so brilliant so when the dead organisms or waste materials decay the minerals are released which then can then be reused by other living organisms particularly plants and we've talked about this when we've talked about um, the carbon cycle, for instance, um, where carbon can be released again. Um, various soil organisms such as bacteria, fungi, earthworms, maggots and wood lice help with the process of decay. Now you might just see them as horrible little insects, but actually they are essential for uh, life to continue. The earthworms, wood lice and maggots are known as detritivores and they feed on dead organisms and the waste detritus produced by living organisms. Now sometimes you might get an uh, exam question here that says about a food chain and it will ask um, you know, what do detritivores live on in the food chain and you'd say it's the dead waste materials. Um, they do not um, carry out, uh, put the energy into the food chain because that's what the producers do, the plants. So the detritivores speed up the process of decay because they break down the detritus into small particles which have a large surface area making it easier for the decomposers to feed on. So it's all about breaking it down, a bit like when you're digesting your food, your teeth break your food down smaller first before you swallow it down into your stomach so that your acid can start working on it. So the faeces of detritivores also provide food for decomposers like bacteria and fungi. Um, so if we're thinking about earthworms uh, in particular, earthworms um, are brilliant because they take in the waste uh, products and it goes through their body, they take out the parts they need and then as they um, excrete the faeces then that is all broken down ready for bacteria to start work on also don't forget worms as they travel through the soil doing this they're actually creating little holes that helps to aerate the soil and allow oxygen in which is another component we need to look at um, that helps uh, with the process so decomposers are used by humans to break down waste uh, they feed on uh, human waste in sewage treatment works and they break down plant waste in compost heaps and this is really important because uh, in compost gardeners actually use the natural recycling process and they gather their waste such as grass cuttings, leaves and twigs they pile them up into a, a big pile put them into a compost bin and just leave them and the um, actual decomposers then get to work and actually break down all of those grass cuttings and, and leaves and everything until it's like a big mulch um, and that can then be a really nutrient rich soil which can then be used for growing plants again. Uh, in sewerage works, uh, the sewerage produced in homes and factories is sent to a sewage works and here the bacteria digest the organic waste in large tanks making the sewage clean enough to safely discharge into natural waterways Okay, um, just before I move on, I just want to mention a, another word that you may um, have heard of, and that's something called saprophytes. Uh, most decomposers are saprophytes, and they feed by releasing the enzymes onto the dead animal or plant. And the enzymes digest the dead material into a process called extracellular digestion. It's a bit like they're being a bit sick on it. Uh, releasing the enzymes and then um, it's the breaking down uh, the um, dead material. The decomposers then absorb the digested chemicals and this process is called saprotrophic feeding. Now for these, um, for breakdown of food to take place you need certain conditions, you need a warm temperature and if it's warm you're going to have a faster rate 
of uh, decay because the mo microbes are able to respire faster and will grow and reproduce quicker in warmer conditions. Oxygen, you have to have more oxygen and as I said the worms are a brilliant thing because they help to make burrows to allow the oxygen in. The more oxygen there is the faster the microbes will be able to respire and this will allow them to grow quicker and reproduce faster. And you also need moisture, you need water um, and in most conditions again decay is faster and the microbes need the water uh, to remain healthy. In most conditions the microbes will grow faster and reproduce more. So three factors that will increase uh, decay are warmth, oxygen and water. Just to add to that I just want to talk about how we prevent decay intake in place um, with food for instance and this is one of those exam questions that students think they know um, but don't actually explain in enough detail actually explaining what is happening so please be careful with this if we're talking about preventing decay with food you can put food into cans and what you need to explain is what's going on so the food is sealed in a metal container it is heated to kill any microbes they can this can prevent the entry of oxygen and any decomposer microbes cooling by using a fridge food placed in a fridge typically at four degrees um, at this temperature the reproduction of decomposers is slowed down it doesn't stop it's just slowed down if you put food in a freezer which is often below minus five um, it will stop the decomposers reproducing and when they warm up again they will carry on and decay the food so please be careful again because we're not talking about killing the microbes it just stops them from reproducing if you dry food um, we are taking away the water so without water the decomposers can't grow or reproduce if you add salt again this helps water to be drawn out by, of the microbes by osmosis and this kills them. If you add sugar, um, such as jams, uh, the effect is the same as salting. You are taking the water away. And then lastly, if you add foods to vinegar, so you've got pickled onions, pickled eggs, pickled cabbage, whatever. The vinegar is an acid which is added to the food, such as pickled onions during pickling. And the acid kills the decomposers. Please make sure you state which uh, condition is being removed to prevent the decaying process from carrying on.